Hello everyone, welcome to Canan's Kitchen where I share my everyday family home cooked dinners made easy, quick and simple way. Today we're making gatayev. Gatayev are from the Middle East. They are uh, traditionally filled with cream or nuts, but you can be creative and fill them up with whatever you like. Let's find out how we make these very delicious and cute little desserts. In a big bowl, I added one teaspoon of dried yeast and two teaspoons of sugar and some lukewarm water and just let it sit for a few minutes while I gather the other ingredients then I'll be adding two cups of all-purpose flour and one cup of semolina and a pinch of salt to taste. One teaspoon of baking powder. And some rose water. I used two teaspoons in this recipe. It just gives it that authentic taste. But you can totally skip this and use your own flavorings um, like vanilla. and then you would need a blender to um, mix all the ingredients. It tends to work better if you use a blender rather than just a hand whisk. I'll continue mixing until small bubbles start forming up um, on top. You will see what I mean. Now I'm happy with the consistency that um, I'm looking for. It should be liquidy just like this. Not too thick, not too thin, somewhere in between. Once I'm happy with this, I covered and let it sit for 20 minutes. And this is after 20 minutes, this is what it looks like. It does get very slightly thicker because of the semolina. It soaks up the liquid. And now I start cooking our cute gatayev or pancakes. I'm using a big pan so I can fit three at once. And I'm using another pan on the side, by the way. <laughs> I want to finish up quickly. Who wants to stand in the kitchen unnecessarily? Not me. Okay, um, oh yeah, I need to let you know that you don't need to cook these pancakes on both sides, only on one side. And you make sure it's nicely browned at the bottom before you take them out of the pan. Uh, the reason for this, we don't cook them on both sides, is because when we put the fill in, we need them to stick. You will know what I mean when um, I start filling them and you will see the reason why they're not cooked on both sides. But don't worry, they will dry up completely and they are actually cooked, it's just they're not browned on both sides. Okay, now uh, it's the filling stage, which is the fun stage for me. I like doing this part. Uh, the filling 
uh, for today is mascarpone cheese mixed with two teaspoons of honey. As you noticed, these I'm closing completely. I close them up into a shape of um, like Cornish pasties, only these ones are mini. And some of them I'm not going to be closing up completely, I'll be closing them up halfway. And these are called, the ones that are closed halfway, they are called Asafir in Arabic, which means little birds. I suppose um, they do look like a bird that's opening their mouths. <laughs> I'll be filling these little birds with the same creamy cheese mixture that I used for the other ones. Next I'll be air frying my Gataev. The closed up ones, they traditionally are deep fried, but I'm not going to do that because that's not very healthy, is it? So I air fried them and they came out so crispy, much better than fried ones by far. And once they came out the air fryer, I drizzle some honey on There you have it. This is uh, Gataev. The closed up ones are enjoyed warm and the opened ones, obviously we haven't cooked them, so they enjoyed as they are. Uh, I sprinkled some pistachio, grounded pistachio on the cream. It tastes delicious, but you can uh, sprinkle any nuts of your choice or leave them just like that. And um, I have filled some of the um, opened up Gataev with some chocolate. I'm sure my kids will um, very much appreciate that. They love their chocolate, but they do like the cheese, um, the cheesy ones too. Um, here I'm gonna show you um, what it looks like. <laughs> what it looks like, sorry, what you look like when you have a bite. I really enjoyed that bite, by the way. And that cheese is so warm and gooey inside and crispy on the outside. It really is a treat, this. It really was a pleasure to share with you this recipe. Uh, these gataya, they really are a treat. I hope you have a go at making them. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't. And it's my pleasure to come back again with another video, another recipe. Until next time, bye.